today we have a lot of Play-Doh accessories here. So we got some Play-Doh, a house which is, you could add some stuff there, maybe some stuff here, stuff here, stuff, um, stuff over here, and stuff here on the roof too. Even on the door, and this doorbell is for also Play-Doh. And we got a bench with stuff here and stuff on the bottom too. And we got designs on here and more accessories and a little knife for us to cut. And we also have many colors. So we have purple, blue, red, and yellow. <laughs> Let's get started with maybe blue because I like the blue color. It's nice. First, I'm just going to press it with my finger, just to make it smooth. And then, since I would like to make a doorbell, I'll take a little piece and I'll put it as there. Because there was a doorbell toy, but to press it to add for the house, but we didn't have it. So, I'll just take a more tiny piece than that. And a cute little doorbell. And more stuff I'm gonna show you is I'm just gonna press it again. I'm gonna cut it out as a circle. show you something really cool even in the in these are not actually dollhouse stuff these are play-doh stuff even though they don't look like play-doh stuff they're all play-doh stuff so now since the play-doh is all pressed up like that we are going to do something like maybe this dolphin let's press it out Now I will cut this piece, this extra piece out. I'll cut off the edges and then we'll take out the parts. Okay, move it. Just gotta move out the extra play-doh. But an easy way to do it is just take the amount of play-doh you're going to be just count the edges and then how many um, Play-Doh you could get. But uh, we are just um, going to use the whole thing for today. So let's get going. We're almost done. The, these parts where I'm cutting is kind of hard because when you those parts, the, the edges, they're kind of hard a little. See, since these parts are stick, that's why we're cutting it out with a cutter. So, we could so this is how our blue dolphin looks. So let's press it out. Let's take it out of the cookie cutter. It's starting to look so cute. Be careful, don't want to break it. There, a cute little dolphin. Okay, let's put it back. And I'm just gonna take the blue Play-Doh and put it back where it was. So let's take the box out and let's put this Play-Doh back in. It's nice and smooth in there. And 
we could also make our umbrella if you'd like a blue umbrella. So let's take some Play-Doh to make the umbrella. You don't need it, but I just want to tell you so it can be a little fun. the umbrella is actually doing good. Actually looks good so far. But, but I'm not gonna keep it out. So let's just close it and then move on to another color. So now we're going to start with the yellow one. The yellow is one. And when you open up a piece, the yellow looks kind of but we can't eat Play-Doh, it's not good. It doesn't look sweet to me, but it might look sweet to you. When um, when um, this Play-Doh, when you just take it out, it's hard to smush, so that's why I, um, I smush quite a lot to make it not smushy, and now I'm, like you can see, I'm smushing it now, because it's not, okay, now it's normal. Let's just press it up. And when you do Play-Doh stuff, Play-Doh stuff actually is kind of fun when you do it. Oops. Okay. Okay, now since it's all done, let's choose one more thing to pick. Let's do this one. It looks like a doggy. I don't know what that is. Okay, now I will just, like you know, I use a knife. So usually we will cut it out, like we did to the dolphin. I'm not sure if the corners will be easy this time, because it's a different cookie cutter. So remember, um, give a comment if you know what we're, if it's hard or not gonna be. I think it's not gonna, because I'm in one corner. Okay, just gotta swick, swick, swick off. Okay, half of it all off. Just a little bit more to go. With the knife, I'm just going to make sure it gets all cut in. Okay, now let's move the parts away. This is how it will look like in the end. Okay, let's just open it up. That looks so cute. Look at that. Okay, now we're done with the yellow. Let's put it to our main side. Okay, now let's take the yellow. So this is what we made, a cute dog. It is a, actually a dog because it has a tail and it obviously has to be a dog. And next up is red. Whoa, red looks so cute. It looks like fire or blood. Okay, let's just smash it out. Smash, smash. Smash, splash, or <laughs> smash, 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 smash. And let's take out this fire shape. We can make out quite a lot of fire shapes. Let's just press it out. Now it's time to use the knife. I'm excited. I like knives. But especially Play-Doh ones when we use Play-Doh. Okay, I don't actually like nice, but when we use it as Play-Doh 
or in a toy kitchen than I do. Not real life. One day I used a real knife to cut out strawberries. It wasn't that creepy. It was kind of fun, but you gotta be careful when you use this knife. You can use it only when you're big, because I, I was big that time. Just maybe just press it and there. We got the red extra one out. And now let's just take the corner parts out to make sure it doesn't get too big. And we're done. This is how it looked like. You can make one more if you'd like. So let's just try making one more because it's a little thing. It's not that big than those. So let's just make one more to make it look big. Press. I just got to press it up with your hands and hands. Now and I got hands. this nice and smooth. Where is that fire? thing oh there we go it's down there let's do one here just got push 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 really hardly yeah i'm pushing really hardly to make it get out easily okay that might be good let's take a look no we need more on the edges to make it look pushed. Okay, let's take it out. Okay, and let's do one more. Okay. Let's just have to have. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's just. Maybe cut that because we don't need that part. So let's just cut it out. Well, okay, that looks kind of nice. Cool fire. Looks like real fire. A dog doesn't usually be yellow, but since we don't have brown flato in this video, I'm just using yellow. Let me just use a knife to take it out. So we got one more, just one more to take out. And there. Now let's put the fire one back because we don't need the red because we have quite a lot of fire ones done. And the last one is purple. So now we'll make the man. Man we have. Don't worry, we only use more color for the house and that sofa there, so don't worry about that. We will use more so we have more time to play. So then we do not gonna end. And let's open up the purple with the butterfly design on top. Ooh, the purple looks pretty cool. It looks like um it looks like a penguin's body play-doh. But no, it's just normal purple. Okay, let's put the knife back what we're using and press the play-doh as hard as we can. If it doesn't look good on the front side, it's okay. You could use the black back side too. Because see, ta-da! But we're not done yet. We gotta push these parts. Remember, they, they look like a broken piece of Play-Doh and let's flip it. There, that looks good, does it? <laughs> and now, we're going to do this man. But before we do the man, oh, sorry. We just need to stretch out the Play-Doh a little because then the man is kind of long one. Let's see, is that a perfect fit? Of course it is. So let's flip the other one up and get ready for our man we have. Let's just put it here in the middle. Press it hardly. I got a mermaid set Play-Doh, but we lost some of it. So, and that's where the man came from for our Play-Doh accessories. Me and my mom thought we could use it for our Play-Doh stuff. So that's why we were making it 
using it in this video. You might not see it in the Play-Doh shop, but you might find it in the Mermaid Play-Doh toy. So that's where you can get the man. Just pressing really hard to take the extra purple out. Let's just use our knife. We have our Play-Doh knife to make sure it really gets out. Really, not really, but really. Okay, let's make sure of that and that. It's doing good here. On the back, it's kind of hard, but not that hard. So if you're doing the back of the room, like when you're cutting, it might be hard, but not that hard. Okay, just gotta cut that out. <laughs> It. Just gotta cut it. It's kind of hard when you cut because when you cut, it's getting trickier and trickier as you go. But but for big kids like me, it's not tricky for them. I am kind of shy because um, I have some more big kids coming over to my house some friends so I'm not sure if they're gonna play with them my play-doh I'm just good now let's just we'll stop talking about that and let's take a look at our man we have it looks kind of good but we have some extra pieces left so I'm just gonna make sure we take here that is our man we made so let's put it in our done plate. Okay, this is the end of the video. I know it was fun, but I'm sorry about that. Now it's time to end the video. Um, we'll make more videos soon, so don't worry about that. They, these three are not only the video about Blood Tear and the Lego Fun Play Date with Priyash and Kushi. We have kind of more life putting more for kids, so we just one day we just started and we didn't make more channels yet. And you just guys just started watching our YouTube channel, so we have more coming up. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give us a subscribe and one like. You can give as much as like you want, obviously, and much as subscribers. Thanks. Not four, but yeah. So we have a dolphin, we got a cute little doggy, we have one fire, two fire, I know there's three, but I'm just, so the fire made it more, it made one, two, three, four, five, six, it made six, but we just made four things, like, you know, like the dolphin, dog, the fire, and the person. I know we made, we didn't make the extra ones, like the couch and the the house but we'll make it next time so bye and remember we'll make these two next time so bye hope you enjoyed these video give a comment and a like and a subscribe bye